Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the third video on this NPM series and I hope you are enjoying this series. If so, consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. Uh, by now you have already understood like what YAN is, what NPM is and what they are meant for, right? Now question comes if I am interested in learning YAN. So for that you need to subscribe to this channel because I am gonna bring another series for especially for YAN and how can you use it. But for now you should be interested in learning NPM and you should wanna know like why and how I can use NPM, right? So let's go ahead and look into how we can install NPM and make user fit to consume packages and install packages, right? The first thing that comes up uh, while, while installing NPM is Node.js. So in previous video we already talked about that NPM comes as a default with Node.js. If you're installing Node.js, you'll get NPM as well with it. So you can go to this site that is known as Node.js.org, uh, Node.js.org, where you'll get this, get to see this homepage wherever you are, whichever operating system you're using, you'll get a page and it says like download for your platform. Right now I am in a 64 bit Windows platform. So it's saying we download for Windows. Similarly, if you're on Mac or Linux, there are different ways to install it, but mostly you will get it in this particular website itself. So the first thing you need to do, you can click on this LTS version. LTS is known as long term support, right? So always recommended like use this, but if you want to try the current feature of Node.js, you are feel free to do so. You can go and explore it but it is not recommended to use the current for production. You should be using the LTS version for production, right? So I'm going to download it and it will give me a window installer for Mac. You'll, you'll get a um, installer for Mac as well. For Linux, you can, it is very simple to do with a command line as well, right? So I've already installed node and once you download this, you'll, you'll, you'll run the installer. You just click next, next, next and everything. And it's very simple. It will be installed, right? And after that, what you need to do verify, for verifying things is you can come here, right? You can come here and do uh, node minus V. This means node, give me your version. If I enter, this will give me the version. This is 14.17.0, right? Right now, if you see the website, it is 16.17.0. So my question, your question would be, Rohan, you just install node. You're installing node while you're not using the latest version. This is because I'm currently working on a project uh, that requires node 17.0. This could be the case with you as well, right? So I do node versioning on my system and switch between various node version that we are going to talk about later uh, for a particular project, right? That we are going to do, surely going to do. But until and unless you are getting this uh, version here, one doing node minus V, that should be fine to you because this depicts that node is successfully installed on your system and you're good to go, right? Now the thing is, npm comes default as on node, right? So you can just do npm minus v in the similar fashion and press enter. You will get a version for npm as well. See, this is like 16, uh, 6 .14 right? This is a node version. Uh, this is an npm version, sorry. So node install, npm install, right? So if you install node, npm directly comes in. So no need to do anything else, right? So npm install on a system is very simple. Just go to this uh, website, install node on your system, you get npm. Next thing, right? So we, we see this uh, npm org, let, let's search for one library, right? So let's let's uh, start our hands on on npm a bit, uh, look few features of npm a bit and then, then move forward ahead, right? So xgs is one of the popular library for making HTTP calls, right? API calls. So you see exios and there is a command npm i exios. This will install, this will consume, bring this package to my system and I can use it my project. But I, I want to do npm view. So view is a command which gives you uh, information about a package for, so I can do view exios. So this will give a lot of information about a package that we are going to see. So this brings a lot of information. It gives the website that is present it gives a description what the, it does, right? And it gives a tarball file as well. If you see this particular URL, if you go to this URL, you, you will be able to download. Let me go to this URL. You will be able to download 
this particular file as you can see this this is downloaded it in my particular system right so ultimately what happens this particular uh, file gets downloaded in my system so the uh, thing is uh, this this gets downloaded in my system so i can see what it contains and what it not right but the thing is we generally don't do that we directly do via you know the command line npm command line and then it gets added to our node module folder that we'll see what it is and we can see the code there as well right but this is what it does when you will run npm i it goes to this particular website right and do various security checks with this uh, sasam and integrity check with sha512 so that it verifies that your package is not coming from someone else right this is coming from a right source and it is the right package to use and there is some size uh, that is provided there unpack size that is coming from here and some dependency that use right and there are some maintainers as well and latest version and what is the next version that is gonna come right and what when it was last published this all information you get when you do npm view axios right but you can i guess always go on this particular command npm minus minus help or minus help let me get it confirmed i have typed it it is bringing some info let's see yeah so once you do minus help i guess there are a lot of command that is given to us right as you can see there is i command there is init command that we are going to use there is uninstall there is unpublish there is publish command uh, there are a lot of command that is provided by npm and this can be found in the npm doc easily we are going to use few of them in the next videos but this can be found easily right so ultimately uh, this this gives us a uh, lot of information there are a lot of commands right but for this video we have installed node with that we got our uh, uh, npm package as well and we have seen how package when we do npm i where it goes and what it brings and how it brings the file tar file in our system ultimately if you are uh, on different platform like uh, mac you can use homebrew to install uh, npm or node that is uh, more simpler or you can have a installer that will be installing and I guess on Linux machine, be it Ubuntu or be it any uh, distro of Linux, it would be pretty much simple. You just Google search and you get how to install. You just get on a command and it install everything, right? So we have got our node and npm install. Let's go ahead and look at like how we can use it in projects, what node modules means to us and, and let's explore uh, npm a bit more. With that, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have subscribed to this channel if not please do so and stay tuned for future videos i'll see you next time thanks for watching